morning, and we are taking a visit to Surf City. Our Sheba Turk is there live, and uh, Sheba, you're doing a little surfing for us. Amy, am I doing some surfing? This is my very first time, try, time trying it out, but I'm doing it with a pro. Marcus Barrera has been teaching surfing lessons since the 70s, so he's the perfect person. This is Surf City USA, so I feel like we couldn't come and not surf, right? That's right. Yeah, we love surfing. So anyways, uh, I've been doing this since 75 in high school, and I'm still doing it today, and it's just I'm just excited as I was the first time I ever learned how to surf. Awesome. What are some tips for first-time newbies like me? Take a lesson. Learn the technique. Learn to safety, ocean conditions, and uh, go have fun. And you teach this to people of all ages. I know you sent some of the kids in the water. They've got the green and pink boards down there. Yes. Okay, awesome. We're going to look at them. And I want you to show me earlier. I'm going to show them my first attempt in just a second. But show me some of those techniques for getting on the board. I'll let you hold this and walk me through it. Okay. Well, first we put marks on our board, two different marks. So this, the top mark is for her height. So you go ahead and lay down okay. on your stomach. So she knows she's right on she's right on her mark. So we do a cobra, slide to your knees, one foot forward, and stand. Beautiful. Okay, That's how it's done. <laughs> I tried this earlier. Let's take a look at my first attempt in the water. And what are people surprised by that first attempt? I was surprised by how rough the water was. Well, I mean, the, uh, the first attempt, you made it on the second attempt. Tell him again. So good. <laughs> I'm telling you, you did excellent. But yeah, it's the stokeness we call it, the, the like most awesomeness thing when you get up and you're actually walking on water. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, once you get that feeling, you're pretty much hooked. Yeah, no, I really am. I'm ready to go back in the water right now. What's been amazing is we've been talking about the June gloom. Out here on the beach, though, you guys are having such a great time. This dreariness doesn't even matter. Right. Yeah, I can't let the weather dictate my surfing or my lessons or I'd never be in the water. Yeah. But, you know, once you start surfing and having fun, you forget all about the elements. You're, you're, just, you're just focusing on the fun. I was talking with one of the locals earlier who was like, hey, don't worry about the sharks. And I was like, right, because they're not there, right? And he was like, no, 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 they're definitely there. Just don't worry about them. How concerned are you about animals in the water? Ah, uh, they don't bother me except for stingrays. But, you know, I know how to overcome that. Do the stingray shuffle. And, yeah, be on your board most of the time. <laughs> the stingray shuffle. And what makes Huntington Beach Surf City? Well, you know, I don't know that one, but, you know, since it's always been popular surfing here and holding most of the biggest world contest surfing, like the U.S. Open and surfing, yeah. that put, and we could go back farther to the OP pros, you know, and the Caton, which are not around no more. So I think all that um, media, biggest wave riders, biggest best surfers around the world coming here to have contests in Huntington Beach, Surf City, uh, I think that's kind of how it was put on the map, in my opinion. Awesome. And one of the locals was telling me earlier it's a lot due to the water conditions here. What, what are the perfect water conditions for surfing? Well, no wind. Huntington Beach Pier is like a wave magnet. Mm -hmm. It catches all different swells that are coming. South swell, north swell, west swell. So we got like the bigger surf at the pier. And that's what the surfers like. Awesome. Okay, so tell everyone if they want to take a lesson with you, how they can do that. Well, call me at 714-782-4510 or see us on the web at surfridersacademy.com. Awesome. Surfing was on my bucket list, so Marcus, thanks for taking me out to ride my first wave. Amy, it was an absolute blast. <laughs> Something tells me this won't be the last time we see you on the surfboard. Great job, Sheba. Thanks so much. <laughs> thanks.